Imagine a big city in the United States and a small village in Ethiopia. What are some differences between these two locations? Some differences might include climate, population size, culture, and diet. The economies of these two countries are one major characteristic that set them apart. The United States is considered a highly developed country, which is a general category for countries that are highly industrialized and have high per capita income levels. Ethiopia, on the other hand, would be considered a developing country, which is a general category for countries that have limited industrialization and have low per capita income levels. Although highly developed and developing countries are often compared based on economy, they also vary a great deal in population characteristics. Some of the most commonly analyzed population characteristics include infant mortality rate, total fertility rate, replacement level fertility, and age structure. Unfortunately, not all children that are born will survive, and the rate of survival can vary a great deal by the type of country. Infant mortality rate is the term used to describe the percentage of infants that die before the age of one year. Although sad, this statistic is very important because it influences the overall population growth rate, replacement level fertility, and the age structure of the population. The infant mortality rate varies a great deal between highly developed and developing countries. On average, developing countries have an infant mortality rate that is 18 times higher than the rate of developed countries. When comparing the 10 most developed countries with the 10 least developed countries, the infant mortality rate is daunting. The most developed countries have an infant mortality rate of less than 1%, while the least developed countries have an average infant mortality rate of around 10%. These differences in infant mortality rate are shocking, and the high rates are due mainly to limited access to medical care, poor sanitation, and increased prevalence of diseases. One of the most important population characteristics of a country has to do with births. The total fertility rate is the average number of offspring born to a woman in a population during her reproductive window. Now, you might ask yourself, what is a woman's reproductive window? The reproductive window is the period in a woman's life when she can physically become pregnant, starting with sexual maturity and ending with menopause. In a world with unlimited resources and no problems, a woman could produce up to 25 offspring during her reproductive window. This would mean that her total fertility rate would be 25 children per lifetime. Although it is physically possible to produce 25 children per lifetime, the total fertility rate is often much lower. In developing countries, the fertility rate ranges from between 3 and 7 children per woman. On the other hand, the total fertility rate in developed countries is normally between 1 and 3 children per woman. In general, these differences in total fertility rates are due to varying levels of access to contraception and cultural practices. Another important population characteristic that relates to births is replacement level fertility. Replacement level fertility is the fertility rate that will result in the replacement of the parents in the population. Again, in an ideal world, the human replacement level fertility rate would be exactly two. This would mean that each couple would produce two offspring that would replace them in the population. If this occurred, then the human population would stay at a stable rate. Of course, the world is not ideal and not all offspring that are born will survive to reproductive age and replace their parents. The replacement level fertility rate is greatly impacted by the infant mortality rate. As we now know, the infant mortality rate is much higher in developing countries. As a result of this, the replacement level fertility rate is also higher in developing countries than in developed countries. On average, the replacement level fertility rate is around 2.1 in developed countries. This value includes two children to replace the two parents and an additional 0.1 for the risk of a child dying before reaching reproductive age. For developing countries, this number is slightly higher at around 2.6, with an additional 0.6 due to the higher risk of infant mortality. 
Although the most commonly discussed characteristics of a population have to do with births and deaths, there is another important characteristic that combines these statistics. This characteristic is the population's age structure, which is the distribution of the population based on age categories. The age structure of a population is often displayed using age sex pyramids, which graphically represent how the population is distributed by both age and sex. The pyramid is comprised of many horizontal bars, representing the size of the population at each age category, with young categories at the bottom of the pyramid and old at the top. Due to the variation in infant mortality and fertility rates between developed and developing countries, the age structure is always quite different. In developed countries, the population is distributed relatively evenly over all age categories. This results in a median age in the late 30s and an age sex pyramid with very straight sides due to the evenly sized horizontal bars. Due to high fertility rates and low survivorship, developing countries often have a skewed age structure with a higher percentage of their overall population being in the lower age categories. This results in a median age in the late teens and an age sex pyramid with very sloped sides due to larger bars at the bottom of the pyramid. This type of age structure has a large proportion of the population being at reproductive age and leads to an increase in overall birth rates. Now, let's review some major population characteristics that differ between highly developed countries and developing countries. To start, a highly developed country is a general category for countries that are highly industrialized and have high per capita income levels. And a developing country is a general category for countries that have limited industrialization and have low per capita income levels. Although economy is one major difference between these types of countries, they also have varying population characteristics in terms of infant mortality rate, total fertility rate, replacement level fertility, and age structure. Infant mortality rate is the percentage of infants that die before the age of one year. This unfortunate statistic is on average 18 times higher in developing countries than the rate in developed countries. There are two population characteristics that relate to births and fertility. The first is total fertility rate, which is the average number of offspring born to a woman in a population during her reproductive window. The second is replacement level fertility, which is the fertility rate that will result in the replacement of the parents in the population. Both of these statistics are higher in developing countries in comparison to developed countries. In terms of total fertility, the rate in developing countries is between 3 and 7 children per woman, and only between 1 and 3 children per woman in developed countries. In terms of replacement level fertility, the rate is around 2.1 in developed countries and slightly higher at 2.6 for developing countries. The last population characteristic is the population's age structure, which is the distribution of the population based on age categories. The age structure in developed countries is evenly distributed, while the age structure of developing countries is skewed towards younger age categories due to high fertility rates and low survivorship. These characteristics are a general overview of differences between developing and developed countries. Populations are very complex and each country has unique components of their own population.